But we had a problem with him cutting up the sticky toffee before. You want a sticky toffee in a beautiful mound. Why it's been cut up into bits and made pretty patterns of, I'm not quite sure. Leave a beautiful sticky toffee alone. I feel like I've got some unfinished business that I need to resolve. I'm going to push myself to the limit and see how far I can go. What have you been doing since we last saw you? Getting better looking, by the way. I'll be hey, what are you after? I've been doing a, a few private dining events. I've had a little one as well. Oh. He's a month old. No way! Yes. No wonder you're here. As <laughs> you get away. <laughs> Escape to the master <laughs> kitchen. So what's your main course? So I'm doing a jerk chicken valentine with Callaloo foam, a plantain crisp, pineapple gel, and a butter bean puree. Last time we saw you, you did a chicken valentine, mm -hmm. but it didn't have a load of flavour. I didn't stick to my roots, like the Caribbean flavours. I'm hoping it's better than last time. A chicken valentine filled with a mousse flavour with jerk seasoning. Spicy. Woo! That mousse inside has to be like a torpedo of flavour. It's got to be banging with jerk. Ooh, the kick's real. <laughs> a valentine, a puree, a foam and a gel. There's lots of process going on here. Dessert? I'm doing a sticky toffee pudding again with a ginger stem ice cream. The feedback, it was kind of too sweet and not traditional the way it looks. The ginger stem is to kind of balance out that sweetness, so I've taken the feedback on board and just incorporating that. So this is showing off the flavours of the Caribbean and the redemption of the sticky toffee pudding. Exactly. Matthew is most certainly revisiting old ground. This time he's using a miso caramel, Asian flavouring, which is slightly spicy, slightly salty, which will act as a different flavour to all the sweetness. But we had a problem with him cutting up the sticky toffee before. You want a sticky toffee in a beautiful mound. Why it's been cut up into bits and made pretty patterns of, I'm not quite sure. Leave a beautiful sticky toffee alone. Ooh. Let's hope I can cook up a storm and redeem myself from last year. <laughs> In a bid to redeem himself, Matthew has recreated his closing menu and cooked a chicken ballotine stuffed with jerk chicken mousse in a jerk and barbecue sauce with a butterbean puree, callaloo foam, pineapple gel infused with Caribbean rum and a plantain crisp. Chicken is moist and inside there you've got a jerk mousse which is perfectly smooth. Absolutely delightful and that sauce that it's sitting in. That is really nice. Like a really rich, thick barbecue sauce that starts off sweet, goes a little bit smoky and finishes with chilli. The technical work in there is admirable. I'm impressed. Pineapple sweetness against that, that heat that's coming from that barbecue sauce is really good. Bean puree is perfectly smooth, well seasoned. I love these crispy plantain. I think they're really, really good. Kalu foam, and it's there, it disappears. If you're going to do all that work, Matthew, show it off. Because the flavours are great and it's all working really, really nicely. Matthew's dessert is a sticky toffee pudding topped with a ginger biscuit crumb in a miso and caramel sauce served with stem ginger ice cream. That's a cracker of a dessert there, chef. Lovely light sponge. You've added a little bit of miso into your caramel to give it saltiness, a little bit of spiciness, and that ice cream is thick and creamy. Last time you made us a sticky toffee pudding, you cut it up into bite-sized chunks as if we were kids. <laughs> You've learnt the lesson there. I think the ginger nuts across the top are inspired, because you get texture and you get the flavour of the ginger nuts. I could do with a little bit more stem ginger in my ice cream, but it's extraordinary how far you've come in such a short period of time. It's great to see. Tasty. Oh, well done, well buddy. Done. I felt like I've grown as a chef, personally. So thrilled for you, darling. And to see them see the changes, I'm proud of myself. Really, I'm proud of myself.